one of the things I remember you bringing up at uh, a recent Democratic Party meeting here for the 49th Ward was you mentioned me and rising up angry. And I was really surprised that you even knew that I had been involved in this, uh, I would have to say, a kind of a revolutionary-oriented community organization uh, back in from 69 to 75, pre-Heartland Cafe. And I was just curious to know... Uh, when you were a kid growing up, uh, probably in the 48th Ward, were you uh, were you in touch with the Patch, with the uh, TJOs, all these kind of youth uh, clubs and gangs? What was your scene as a high school student? Where'd you go to school, and what were you doing? Um, I was younger than I am younger than you, Michael. We have the same hairline, but I'm younger than you. <laughs> you got and a little, uh, I, I think that um, my youth was um, I lived right by Sen High School, so. Um, I vividly remember the 70s uh, looking out my front window and seeing squad cars uh, rolling down our street. And um, I remember that they had um, some significant racial tension where there were minority students from Sen that had to be police escorted to, um, to right. the Thorndale station. Over there in those days. It was rough. And so, um, but I, I'm a Chicagoan. I love Chicago and I'm grounded in Chicago. I want my kids to be brought up in a diverse community. I mean, um, you know, some of the people that I work with in Springfield, they don't have the culture that we have, you know, um, our, we have every kind of diversity in the world, and I look at that as just an unbelievably positive thing. So, um, you know, I want my kids to go through the stuff that I did. And, you know, growing up in our community, I, I used to bike down Sheridan Road to go to Leon Beach. And, uh, you know, back then when it was not um, – a lot of programs for, for youth these days are very um, – uh, coddled, kids are coddled and spoiled. Back then, you know, they would throw us on a canoe and, and say, you know, go paddle to the buoy and back, you know. With, so it was um, it was a great experience. Played baseball, Potawatomi. So my roots are very much in Edgewater and Rogers Park, and it's just it's a great place to live and represent. And I want my kids to grow up here and, uh, uh, you know. You're doing a great job as a state rep, but you have any aspirations for different office, whether it's higher or lower or different? What are your plans? You know, if I do, what I'm going to probably do is uh, come back here to live on the heartland and make an announcement so i'm going to do kind of like what jan does and think that through but um you know we have some significant issues right now at the state level that are not finished and um i'm going to be focusing on that this summer and try to minimize some of these drastic cuts that are going to affect real people in our neighborhood uh, and a lot of people right now are going to learn you know we talked about before they don't focus on state government Many of these cuts are going to touch people that did not think that they were affected by state government. And uh, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we're looking out for people and that we're doing the right thing. So uh, it's going to be a challenging summer. we got a lot of work, and that's what I'm focused on is, uh, you Give know, us a quick list of the kind of things that will, the cuts that will, will come down. Not only, uh, you know, just tell us what some of them it, would be. It could be. be anything from preschool in Chicago public schools being totally eliminated to um, senior citizens uh, in nursing homes being uh, institutionalized or people that get a program called community care where workers come and, and let them live independently on their own. Um, that, Tollways, highway construction, uh, all railroads. The, what? It, it, could, it could be the CTA not getting some, some money, which could cause some effects to them. So um, it, it, it could be far and wide. Child care providers, if there are women out there that uh, have subsidized child care, uh, there's a, a child care provider in our community that says they might have to shut their doors. So um, I think we're going to know sooner than later how drastic these effects are. And it's not um, it's not a, a PR stunt. It's real. And, um, you know, we're going to have to work through that. And um, that's going to be my focus right now. Well, we know you're going to do a good job. Harry Osterman, let's have a big round of applause for State Representative Harry Osterman. Thanks for coming on live from the heartland. It's always a pleasure. Michael, thank you. And I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you soon.